Hi, I'm Trawler Specialist Jeff Merrill in East Greenwich, Rhode Island aboard the Nordhaven 40 Sea Trek. Sea Trek is hull number 32. She's a US built boat by Pacific Seacraft. Pacific Seacraft is actually where I started my boat building career. I was the vice president of sales there building cruising sailboats when the boys from Dana Point came to ask us to build the Nordhaven 40. I'm very proud of this boat. It's American made. This one has a lugger main engine, dry stack, keel cooled, about 3,100 hours on there. There's a wing engine, there's a generator, there's air conditioning. It's a two cabin, one head boat. And on Sea Trek, we actually have a flybridge. This is a spectacular boat. I really enjoyed my turn on the around the world trip where we went from Barbados all the way to Panama through the canal. There's a lot of good memories on this boat. This is a particularly nice one. The current owners have spent a lot of time upgrading a lot of the systems. She's really in great shape. Let's go look around and you can see what I'm talking about. You enter into the salon and galley through the very commercial diamond sea glazed door here with the dogs rubber gasketing. And I come into a very open, spacious room. Now we have the blinds down because of the daylight. From here, I have carpeting on the floor. I have uh, settees on either side and a very unique movable table. I can slide this table to either side. I can go high, low on it. I can open up the leaves, very versatile. You could actually sleep on the starboard side when it's rough underway, and I've done that. Up forward is a television, flat screen television, and then some Fit for Frigo refrigeration drawers outboard here. From here, I go up to the pilot house, or since we're staying on this level, I come into the galley. The galley on Sea Trek has Corian countertops, Again, more Vitro Frigo refrigeration drawers, microwave oven, and then a Seaward three burner propane stove and oven uh, outboard here. Opening port lights for extra ventilation. Excellent headroom in here. Overhead storage lockers, storage lockers down below, as well as a large stainless steel sink. From the galley, when you're preparing meals, you can be in conversation with the guests out in the salon. You can look out the windows. You have a great view. It's a wonderful place to do your cooking here. And then again, from this level, we take the center line hallway stairs down to get down to the head and the two staterooms, or we go up on outboard on the starboard side up to the pilot house. There's a center line hallway on the lower level that gives you access to the staterooms and the head and shower on the Nordon 40 design. On the starboard side, aft, a stand up stall shower, sink, and toilet. On the port side, two bunk beds for guests when they visit you, as well as a washer dryer. Access to the engine room and up forward is the owner's cabin with an island berth, extra storage, lots of places to get around and access to the chain locker. In the hallway on the starboard side, as I mentioned, is the head and shower. There is a freshwater toilet up forward, the stall shower, good standing room, even area to sit down in here, an opening port light, drain, very convenient head and shower for the owners of the boat and their guests. Guest stateroom on the port side, there's an upper bunk and a lower bunk. The lower bunk will actually slide out to make it more accommodating if two people do want to sleep here. Up forward, the combomatic washer dryer, the hanging locker, a small little shelf, and then I can go right down into the engine room. Up in the owner's cabin, you come up a couple of steps. You're up high, you still have good headroom. There's an island bunk where you can get in and out from either side. All the way forward is access to the chain locker. Outboard up top are storage lockers. There's hanging lockers. You have an overhead hatch for light and ventilation, television back aft, and a little seat over here for putting on shoes, just relaxing and reading. There is access to the holding tank down below, and there's plenty of storage and access to the bow thruster uh, underneath the bed. So there's a lot of things going on up here. Plenty of room up forward. The ventilation's coming in. It's a great place to spend the night. Very impressive engine room on Sea Trek. I have the lugger main engine with the dry stack exhaust, keel coolers outboard on the starboard side. The maintenance drakes, the little bulges down by the uh, side of the engine, give me a little extra headroom for walking through here. We put in some LED lighting. Directly behind me, the wing engine, the auxiliary engine. It's a Yanmar. There's a fuel transfer system right here. The wing engine has its own supply tank. I can get down to the bilge back down here. The Northern Lights generators on the starboard side. The Nyad active fin stabilizer reservoir is over on the starboard side. 
fresh water system over there. This is an engine room that is very easy to learn and has been lovingly cared for by the current owners. There are places where you shoot temperatures. There's the little uh, rubber uh, padding down there for your knees. Everything has been looked after. Everything is in great shape. This is the place where you need to spend a lot of time underway. And this is an engine room that you can easily get around in. I love this engine room. Up in the pilot house aboard Sea Trek, I feel very familiar. I've spent a lot of time on Nordhaven 40s. I was able to participate with Nordhaven when they did the Around the World Nordhaven 40 trip. So I've spent a lot of time here. There's a little alcove here for a laptop. In this case, we've upgraded most of the electronics. If you look at the specifications on our listing website, you'll see that a lot of these are new electronics, multifunction displays. There's a compass, helm, main engine, wing engine controls. I have excellent visibility forward with the reverse rake windows. The NIAID active bin stabilizers have been upgraded. I've got wind, I've got depth. I can really see everything. My bow thruster is right here. Windless, I've got my air conditioning controls. There's even a little soft gel pad here. So when you're standing up, it's much more comfortable. Behind me, seating area for the, for the guests that are joining me or crew while we're underway. Good seating area with an adjustable table. There's a watch berth back app, which is also doubles as a good storage collection area. Again, windows I can look back aft on, Dutch doors to go out either side. This really is a great pilot house. It's not big enough to fit a helm chair, but sitting up here is fantastic. I can see what's going on. I can see all my electronics. Very easy to get up and make a quick adjustment. I'm very impressed with the Nordhaven 40 pilot house. And we also have an additional driving station above on the flybridge, which we'll show you in a little bit. One of the great features on the Nordam 40 is the Portuguese bridge. There is a boarding gate here and I can get up to the foredeck. There are lifeline rails outboard, two storage lockers with a cushion on it, and then up forward, a recessed anchor well. You have your electric windlass. There's a roller here to keep the chain from jumping off the gypsy. And then if you bring up any mud, which you will, you have a fresh water and a raw water spigot here. You can knock that mud off. It stays self-contained in this little anchor well and drains down to the water line. It's a comfortable foredeck to be on. We have a boat hook for easy access. There are a couple of deray vents for extra air. And you can see I can then go back to the Portuguese bridge area. And on the starboard side, I can actually go up to the boat deck. So let's go take a look at the boat deck. All right, I'm up on the boat deck. We've launched the dinghy so we can get some footage of the boat, but this is normally where the dinghy would be. You have the Weaver jack stands to, to keep it in place. Dinghy's floating back behind. From here, I have the mast and boom, which I use to raise and lower the dinghy. And then I come up to the flybridge up these steps right here. Flybridge has two Todd Helm chairs, bow thruster, engine controls, very comfortable for driving, general navigation electronics. I can see the anchor and the windlass, so I could do that very easily and keep track of where I am. Have a Bimini cover over the top with solar panels on top that was added by the current owners. This is a very comfortable, relaxing place when you're underway or at rest. The Nordon 40 cockpit has a cockpit shower, hot and cold, fresh water, a seat storage locker with propane tank in it, barbecues back aft. You can actually get to the swim platform through the boarding door, slightly offset to starboard. Swim platform has enough room to arrive by dinghy. We have a special ladder on Sea Trek. There's one other seat on the starboard side and a boarding door for getting on the dock. Ventilation for the engine room and below us, is the lazarette. A lot of space down below. The battery bank is on the forward bulkhead, the Magnusine inverter on the starboard side. There's a bilge pump down here, through hull access, water maker zinc, water maker, steering on center line with autopilot and ram, and outboard on the port side for fresh water, the hot water tank and accumulator tank.
thank you for your time joining me today aboard Sea Trek. She does hail from Planet Arizona and she has boldly explored most of the East Coast, been over to the Bahamas. This is really an ideal boat for long range passage making. Whether you're going coastal or want to go over to Bermuda or all the way over across to the Atlantic, maybe down through the Panama Canal over to the US West Coast. This is a boat that Nordhoven took around the world. This is a sister ship. She's a wonderful boat. You're not gonna believe that for sure until you see her for yourself. We'd like to get you on board. We do that by appointment. You can call, text, or email me at the information on the screen. Please do so. Please get in touch. Let me show you exactly what Sea Trek's capable of and what you might be able to do with her if you own her. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the JMYS YouTube video channel. I'm fortunate to be offshore again. If you'd like to subscribe to this channel, you can click the button below. We also like to publish other listings and other trawler skills videos. You can click on one of those on the side to watch those. Thank you very much for your thumbs up. We love having you watch our videos. We love putting them together for you and hope you come back again soon.